So you're working with hazardous chemicals? Do you know what the hazard classes are? Have you seen all those GHS symbols around? Don't worry, we are here to help. Identifying hazardous chemicals can be remembered by using the acronym TRIC. Toxic, reactive, ignitable, and corrosive. Toxic. These are chemicals that have been shown to pose a hazard to human health or the environment because of its carcinogenicity, such as carcinogen, mutagen, teratogen, acute toxicity, chronic toxicity, or persistence in the environment. Some common examples of toxic chemicals are acrylamide, formaldehyde, glutaraldehyde, and others. Toxic metal salts include silver chloride, cadmium sulfate, mercury acetate, and others. Look for the GHS symbol that looks like this. Ah. Reactive. These chemicals are unstable, explosive, capable of detonation, or react violently with water. Some common examples of reactive chemicals include alkali metals such as sodium, lithium, potassium, and others. Look for this GHS symbol. Ignitable. These chemicals generally are liquids with a flash point below 140 degrees Fahrenheit, oxidizers and ignitable compressed gas. Like the sign says, they can ignite. Some common examples include methanol, ethanol, acetone, and others. Nitric acid is an ignitable oxidizer with corrosive characteristics. Look for this GHS symbol. Corrosive. Lastly, corrosive chemicals are strong acids and bases, when they aqueous have a pH less than 2 or greater than 12.5. A few acids considered corrosive are hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid, and hydrofluoric acid. Common bases include metal hydroxides such as sodium, potassium, calcium, nickel hydroxide, ammonium hydroxide, and organic bases such as amines. Look for this GHS symbol. So next time when determining chemical hazards, remember TRIC.